All right, y'all. What we have here is the all-new Traxxas Sledge with M2C hex extenders, droop screws, aluminum cap from Traxxas, of course, armor backflip, 6S, little rippers. Been having problems getting this rig out here today, to be honest with you. Having all kinds of issues, not wanting to run. Carburetor was plugged up. Pull cord broke. What else have been going wrong? Had to do an oil change. The filter had some kind of particles in it. Either way, got her up and running. When I washed it the last time, my receiver got wet and... You know how that shit goes. Anyway, let's give her a quick rip and see if I can bust her up. Look at that. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Initiate crazy mode. Oh, she ain't got much pep in her step today. I don't know if I'm digging this Z battery. I usually like them, but not this one. Get you some, buddy. Look at that. Yes, sir, buddy O. Come on. <laughs> wow, I call that a blowout. What do y'all call that? Holy moly. All right, y'all, I got her fixed up, put a new tire on it. And in the process, I was having problems with the receiver and I got tired of that. I've been saying I was gonna switch my radio. Well, I did it. I put the DX5 rugged on it. Um, that was a pain in the ass. Traxxas has these little spurs on there. I had to shave them off to make them fit. And then they're both the same color. So I had it hooked up backwards and when I turned the steering wheel, the damn thing took off right off my table, man. Lost all my screws and nuts and bolts. I had it on, man, it was just, I'm not even gonna tell you, it was a nightmare. But yo, we, we got her up and running. If you do this, make sure you set your endpoints because it'll turn too much and you'll rub on your front tie rods, your toe links. And we don't want that now, do we? Yeah, this thing's getting an upgrade. I can't keep playing with this tracks this shit. Got a wobbly tire. I don't know if it's the one I just put on or another one coming off. I'll get a bash in, y'all. Yeah, I don't know how I just landed that crap. I don't know what I was even thinking. Oh, I ain't got no steering. What the hell, man? Am I broke? Oh yeah, I'm broke. Okay, what happened? Oh, I ain't broke, damn bolt come out. Guess I'm going back up to the house. This shit's getting old though, I can tell you that. I'll give it one more go. Go get your popcorn. All right, y'all. I hope that TV's not too loud in the background. I got my EXB 6S put back together. I'm doing my upgrades little by little. I put a Vitavon bulkhead just in the rear. I also put the M2C rear dog bones on both sides. Other than that, I mean, I had the tower brace, tower chassis support brace, whatever you want to call that. I've had that on there. I've had the droop screws in there. I still, that's it. That's all I got going on. I'm running a 4000 Ma Z 60C QS 
Class 8 connectors are awesome. 160 Firma, 4082, 2000 KV, Hobby Star, geared 18, Basher Queen ESC plate. I forgot about that from the get go. I've had that. I just keep forgetting to tell y'all. 45 kilogram servo, rocks, my favorite ones. Amazon, about 100 bucks. Sometimes you can find them on sale for like 75 bucks. Let me get a good picture of it for y'all. Other than that, oh, whoop, I almost forgot the most important thing. 3DRC wing mount. Finally got it. All right, y'all. Hope you enjoy it. All right, y'all. I told you what I did earlier. I made it out to the, the little, I don't even know what you want to call my place. Y'all need to give my place a name. How about that? I'll let y'all name my place. I'm not good with naming shit. I got my EXB out. Let's check it out. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know what's going on with me today, man. I got a blown tire on this car, too. God. Dog it. We're going to run it. I'm about tired of it. I've had nothing but problems today, y'all. Receivers going out on both cars. Wow. What's the chances of that? Lost the receiver on the sledge. Lost the receiver on this. And I think I know why. I've done it before. I just haven't done it in a while. Thought I got smarter than that. I washed them up real good, which I told you all in the last video. And then, um, oh damn, I got tripped over that son of a bitch. Instead of wiping it down with oil, I sprayed them both. Go ahead and tell me I should have never done that, because I know better. I just did it anyway. And I think when you spray them with the WD 40 instead of wiping them with it, or even using a paintbrush works good too. It gets down in the receiver box, and those receivers don't like WD-40. Whoa! <laughs> oh. oh, that shit's too funny. <laughs> ha! Hee, boys! I wish I'd have had the video from a different angle. Y'all would have laughed your asses off. Ah, good grief. I need to stop before I kill myself. Ah, oh, man. What we got here? Wah, 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 bitch. I'll race your ass. It's been a lot of years on motorcycles. Here we go. Front slip madness. Front flip madness. Get you some. Get you some. EXB, I almost called you Traxxas. Yeah, buddy. Shit, I'm on fire now, y'all. It only took me two hours to get my shit running. How about we try some crazy shit right now? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That, that's some crazy shit right there. That's what you get for trying to be stupid. Alright, let's get back up top. Foot out in front of you. Yeah, I'm going to break my back. That's doing that stupid shit. Let me catch my breath, y'all. I'm an old man. Got me a little walker and everything. 
Here we go. I'm gonna do something stupid. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, get you some. You know, the worst part about that shit just was, it got in my ear. Nobody messes with my ears. You can throw dirt in my face, shove it in my nose, put it in my eyeballs. But don't, don't put that shit in my ears. Well, I'm broke, y'all. I can see it from here. Ah, darn it. But you know what? That ain't a big deal. Let's go get another one. I'm gonna put you on pause. Go get you some popcorn. All right, y'all. You ain't gonna believe what I just did. I fixed that broken shock. Came right back out. Did a complete 10, 15 minute session and never even turned my camera on. Give me a thumbs up if you ever done that. It was such a killer bash that I blew out my body. I had to put on one of my old bodies on it. What I did to fix it, y'all, is I had a whole set of spare shocks for my XL. They're the M2C caps and pistons on them. So, I mean, it's not gonna hurt. It's just for a day. It made it a little more flush on that side. <laughs> uh, look at that crap. Oh. All right, buddy. Got a tire coming loose. Come on, get you some. Oh, we're really broke. This is not my day. I'm done. Pulled a pillar ball, it looks like. <sighs> yep, blown tire. Oh, darn it. Dude, that's what as hot as can be. The bearing must be gone. That shaft is hot as you know what. And I broke a shock rod standoff. Anyway, y'all, I'm done. This is not my day. Thanks for watching. Peace. All right, I'm going to give everybody a little advice. You can take it or not. I don't really care. But when you ain't feeling it, it's best just to stop. Put the RCs away. Go chill. Do something else you like to do. But just forget about the RCs until your head's right. Unless if you're just like piddling around and goofing around. That's a different story. But if you try to do crazy air and crazy tricks, your best bet's just to go put her on the shelf. All right, with that being said, what happened? Poor little guy. Don't think it belongs like that. Anywho, all you can do is laugh. Oh man, and I broke a out drive cut. Wonderful, that's just great. So I guess that's getting him to see. Um, what else? That's it, really. I got a blown tire as well. Moving on. I'm telling you I'm having a bad day. <laughs> The Traxxas. To start out, I had receiver problems. Every time I jump it and land, it would shut off, couldn't get it to come back on. 
Uh, I pulled the receiver cover box off and it was wet and oily in there, which was totally my fault because I douched her down with double D4 you have to wash. Her. Not a good idea. Seriously, not a good idea. So anyway, I changed it out and put my DF5 rugged on it. That wasn't an easy task either because you have to shave down your connectors because they won't go in the receivers. No, they wouldn't. It. So anyway, I got them on. No worries. Still work. Went out bashing it. For some reason, it don't have the power it did with the other radio. That don't make any sense to me. If you all know why it does that, let me know, please, in the comments. Because uh, that don't make a damn bit of sense to me. But it definitely didn't have the power it had with the other radio and receiver. Now, I don't know if my battery was just a little bit low or what. It shouldn't have been because I only got a few passes. You'll see the run. And then this happened. The bolt came loose. That's like the third time I had to tighten that up. This time it got me when I lost the bolt. So instead of fixing it, I just said hell with it. I went and got the Creighton and then all hell broke loose. Good night. Have a good day tomorrow. Stay away from those damn bicyclists on the road because they're a real pain in the ass. And if you're a bicyclist, I apologize for running you off the road multiple times. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, blah, 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 blah. See you.